Are you having trouble getting people to listen to you when you come to them with an analysis they've done? Or they asked you for information, but you just don't feel like they're really doing anything with it? Then you might need to start using storytelling to tell people what to do with your data. So hi everyone, I am Kitty Scheuer, and if you're new here, I'd love if you would consider subscribing. Um, and make sure to give this video a like if you like this content, because then I know that I should be making more of this. Now today, I'm not talking about going all out with a story map, and we will get into story maps. I think they're a wonderful thing that we have available to us, but you can do a lot more with storytelling than just making a story map. So let's kind of dive into what do I mean here. For your average data analysis, you're trying to figure out an answer to a question. So you're trying to prove a point. And something like this might be super simple. And sometimes your calculations can be really hard and they take a really long time and you put a ton of effort into it. But when you come down to it, you're really just trying to solve your hypothesis. You're trying to figure out if something is a positive or negative effect at the end or if something's correlated or what statistics coming out of it and that sort of thing. So while those answers and those points are very important to information to have, they don't always tell people what to do with it. And people get confused and they don't understand how to use your information sometimes. So to give you guys a really good example about this, a lot of um, counties and MnDOT, and or MnDOT's our local DOT, um, all those kind of places, they have to keep track of their signs and do inspections on signs. So if I went out and did a whole bunch of inspections, I could give them a map of all of the different inspections that were done, you know, what signs were good, what signs were okay, what signs need replacement, all of that sort of thing. And that would be helpful, And but it just isn't going to like, give them all the information. It's not going to tell them really what to do. So what something that I would consider doing is figuring out what your policy is. When do you actually need to change out signs? And when do you just need to watch them and keep track of them? So if you are checking out your policies and wondering, you know, what are the different standards we have and you have those set, now, when you get all of your inspections result back and you make your visualization through your map or through graphs or any other analysis that you have to do, you can tell them according to their standards what action to take. So another way to frame that same information, that same analysis into a story is to provide the action. So instead of saying, hey boss, I studied all this and according to our standards, all of the signs on County Road 10 need to be replaced, he might go, okay, great. But if I come to it at it a little bit differently and just add a little bit more to that story, it makes a bigger impact. So if I come and say, hey boss, I just finished the analysis on the inspections for County Road 10 and all the Chevron signs are not meeting our standards. So according to our standards, we need to replace them at X amount of quality, and they have already surpassed that, so they're not going to bake another year. I suggest we add a, another $1,000 to our budget and put this on the summer projects list so we can get these replaced out before they become a problem. Now, I have presented a problem to him that I discovered within my data. I have given him the resource list that he needs to get this done, and then I have also suggested a time frame of when it should be done. Now, this gives him an easy bullet point list that he can then go and get budget approval or anything else that he needs to make sure that that project happens. And my data actually becomes useful to him. And he's going to start coming to me more with questions like that and trying to discover more information through data and prove that he really does need this money to make things happen. So I hope that makes sense to you guys with how to tell stories with data and just getting started with it. You don't need to do a full blown story map, but providing action with your point that you have proven will make a huge impact on the amount of information people are getting from you. So I hope to see you guys again. Make sure to click on the video over next to me or hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye.